Hi there, it's Andy Cohen, and in this video, we're going to look at some of the ways that you can format a numbered list. I've got my paragraphs on the page, and I'm just going to select three of them. I haven't selected the rest of them. However, they all have the paragraph style body text applied. I'm going to double click in the paragraph styles panel to open the paragraph styles option for body text. I'm just going to click over here where it says bullets and numbering. Now make sure preview is turned on or you're not going to be able to see what you're doing. When I come over here to list type, I'm going to choose numbers. And you can see the numbered list automatically appears. The formatting for this numbered list is one, two, three, four. Pretty standard. And you've seen before that the number and then the period and then a tab is what makes these numbers formatted the way they are. Now you can also change this to 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, Roman numerals, letters, or triple digits and quadruple digits. We'll look in a later video how you can use these types of numbers for some very sophisticated effects. But for right now, I'm going to leave it at regular numbers. But what if I want my numbers to stand out a little bit more from the text? You can also see that because I'm using a paragraph style, not just the paragraphs that I selected are numbered, but all the paragraphs with that paragraph style are numbered. And this is really helpful when I'm working on long documents. Well, coming back over to the numbering style though, I might want my numbers to stand out a little bit more. Right now they are the exact same point size, typeface, character color as the rest of the paragraph. But I'd like these to be a little bit more bold and a different color. I'm just gonna click okay here. There is no way that I can, I press and drag, there is no way that I can actually highlight and change this character. What I have to do is double click again on the paragraph style. And at this point, I don't even need to be selected except in one paragraph. Double click, come over to bullets and numbering. And this is where I change the character style. Now, here is the number one reason why you should be working with character styles. I can't just grab and highlight the text. I have to apply the character style to it. However, if you're like me, most likely you forgot to create a character style ahead of time not to worry. I come over to the character style menu, press, and you'll see that no character style is created here, but I can choose new character style. And the new character style dialog box appears. I'm going to name it. And I've named it bold numbers red. I'm going to come over to the character color and I'm going to click red. Even though the preview is turned on, I don't see it in my numbered list. Don't panic. It's there. It just needs a different step to see it. The other thing I want to do is make this a little bit more bold. The typeface of my paragraph style is Myriad Pro Semi-Condensed. I'm going to come over to the font style, click here, and I happen to know that there's a semi, S-E-M-I, semi-bold, semi-condensed. However, if I hadn't known 
there was a semi-bold, semi-condensed for Myriad Pro. I could click here and get all the different formatting options. But rather than go through all of these, it's a little easier for me to type the first couple of letters to get what I want. I still don't see any preview, but when I click OK, I now see red and the semi-bold, semi-condensed. That's because I don't see it until I get back to the Paragraph Styles dialog box. And you can see here under Character Styles, it says Bold Numbers Red. If I change it back to None, I get the plain Myriad Pro Black, or come back and change Bold Numbered List. I can also apply another character style. I'm going to choose New Character Styles, and I'm going to call this Bold Numbers Black. I'm going to base it on the character style for bold numbers and then change the character color back to black. When I click OK, this new bold numbers black is the character style applied to the paragraph. So by using character styles, I can format these numbers very easily just by changing them in the Paragraph Styles option dialog box. Leave it as bold numbers red, and then click OK, and I've created my numbered list with the custom formatted numbers. You probably want to change the alignment of the numbers. Some of you may call this hanging digits. We'll show how to do this in another video.